LaPorte is my hometown. I was, I was born here. I grew up in Springfield Township. Went to Michigan, went to, went to Michigan City, but I graduated from LaPorte High School. So I, I love LaPorte. LaPorte always, always, LaPorte always a whole special place in my heart. So this is the pros and cons of, of living in LaPorte, Indiana. I, did some, I was doing some research on, on, on LaPorte and I learned some things that I, I never knew before. First of all, I always knew it was the, the county seat of, of, of LaPorte County. It were, we, we, were once, we were once considered the baseball capital of, 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 of Indiana, which that's kind of a no-brainer. We had Kent Trier here, for Christ's sake. We had eight, 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 state, eight, state, eight state champions and two national champions in, in like 30, 40 years. So that, being a baseball capital in Indiana, it's kind of a no-brainer a no there for that fact. But, the, but, the, but, the, but we had a medical school here at one point, and the guy, one of the graduates was William Mayo, who created, created the, Mayo, the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. We all heard of the Mayo Clinic. And, and believe it or not, the Jiffy Pop. The guy who created the Jiffy Pop is from, is from the board. As well as Bell Gunnis, first female serial killer in the United States. And me, the best roller in the world, Dave Woodson, as well. We're not, we're not going to go there for that, folks. But, but there's a lot of pros and cons of living in the board. My first pro, it's quite simple. It's a small town feel, and it, nothing, 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 nothing. I stutter sometimes, folks. I apologize. Nothing, 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 nothing like a small town feel than the Kevin County Fair here every year. I love, love going to the county fair. You see all your friends you haven't seen since the last county fair. All the pigs, all the cows, all the 4-H projects. I'm reserve grand champion two years in a row. Two not two years in a row, but two, two several years. I was a grand reserve grand champion. Couldn't beat that one guy twice. It happens. Well, I love Laporte. It's, 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 and my first pro is, 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 is that small town feel. You can't beat it. If you're looking, looking for a small town feel, Laporte's the town, town for you. We're, 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 we're a town roughly of 22,000 people in a, in, a, in a county of 110,000, and I'm rounding up a little bit, folks. We're, we're a town of 22,000 people in a, in a county of 110,000. So we're, 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 not, so we're not small by any, by any stretch of imagination, but we still have that small town feel. So you walk down the street, and you see friends here all the time. If not, there's someone's gonna wave, wave, wave at you and smile at you anyway, regardless of the fact. So if you're looking for a small town feel, check us out, Laporte. My number two pro, my number two pro of living in Laporte is the is the lakes and trails, parks, and community events that we have around here every every year. Pine behind me is Pine, is Pine Lake. It's 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 it's, it's a non-boating lake. But you can fish off of it. You just can't. You can't jet ski or or, or ski on it. Water ski on it. But it, but it, it takes you over Stone Lake, which that's a ski beach over there. But it's but it, but it's but it's great for year-round activities like ice fishing and things like that. I've seen them play hockey out here as well. So and and the, and the bike trails out here are phenomenal. Bike trails, walking trails. I seen they they, they they do both on on these as well as the Civic Auditorium is a great place for concerts. So, 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 so it's a great community for activities. We have plenty of activities. There's no reason to be lazy in Laporte. If, if, you, if you want to ride, ride a trail or enjoy the beach, we have, we have five lakes inside the city limits here in, in, in Laporte. So it's, a, it's a, so it's a great water community. My third pro of living in Laporte is the great schools. First of all, we're sandwiched between two satellite campuses of PNC, Purdue Northwest now, I guess what it's called, and IU South Bend. Plus, everybody seems to rave about Crisfield School. Plus, it's, I didn't know I didn't know until I got here is a four-star Indiana State School. But I'm, I'm a product of, of Laporte High, of Laporte High School myself, so I actually love the schools here in Laporte. So if you can't go, if you're looking, looking for a town with the great schools, can't go wrong with can't go wrong with Laporte. The number four pro of living in Laporte is is the cost of living. If 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 the national if if the national average is 100, Laporte is 81, 82, 83, 84 on most of the national national averages for for home for 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 median price of median and average price of home, for uh, for uh, for food costs, child care, Medicare, Medicare med medical costs, rent, housing, utilities. Uh, child care, like I said, child care before. Before there, so if, so if you're looking for a town with with great with a, with a great cost of living, Laporte is Laporte is the answer for you. My fifth pro is 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 is, 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 one, is one of is one of that I I, I stand by wholeheartedly. Laporte's a hardworking town. We have, we, we we have great industry here. We have great we 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 we, 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 well, we lack in retail. We have great industry here. So if you're, so if you're, so if you're a company looking to move, looking to move someplace, 
check out Laporte. You cannot go wrong with Laporte because we're a hard, we're a hard working town. We like to play hard. We like to work hard. My first con are the trains. There's a lot of trains that come by here every day. Every 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 15 to 30 minutes, there's a train rolls through rolls through the port at least every every 40 minutes or so. My brother, my brother, my brother lived off Second Street for forever a day, and every 24 hours a day, trains trains roll by here. Almost almost it seems like continuous. Trains are so bad here in the 70s. We built we built, we, we, we built a bridge over the tracks because we had to. Ambulances were getting stuck. Ambulances were getting stuck by, by by trains and everything like that. So we had, we had to build a bridge over the over the tracks. That's forward thinking, folks. Okay, can't 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 go to the trains. So we, we go around them, over them, go over them. Can't go around them, go over them. So that that, that that's my that's my con. Trains and trains living in the board. Deal with it. The number two con. <laughs> is the winters we've got we got some we had some savage winters here in La, in Laporte. So the, the, the seventy eight eighty four, we and uh, I'm sure we've had some some of the two thousands as well blizzards. We 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 get we, 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 we get really bad lake effect here in La, in Laporte. But it's it's all part of the, it's all part of the natural natural progression of of, 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 of of having four seasons. We have four seasons in Laporte. Right now, it's it's beautiful because the leaves are changing in Laporte. The maple leaves are turning out starting to turn, and all the other trees are starting to tra 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 the leaves are starting to co turn colors as well. It's beautiful in Laporte right this this time of year with the with the trees with the trees turning colors and everything like that. You can't you can't just simply you cannot go. I, I, I keep saying that right now, but you can't go wrong in Laporte. But Lower Port is so pretty in the fall, in the spring and fall. You, if you're looking for you're looking for a great place to live. That has four seasons. Laporte is it. My third con are the streets. I've long complained about the streets here in Laporte, and uh, they, they seem to get worse. They seem to get a little better than they get worse. They get better than they get worse. But I was just driving on one. I think it was Niles, or uh, I can't remember which one it was. Now it was, uh, I'm over on the uh, over off of Monroe. And my and my Apple playlist skipped for crying out loud. That's how rough the streets are. I've got I've got, and I've got no I got no silver lining for this one. We have to get better at fixing our streets here, folks. Plain and simple. My fourth my fourth con is there's no good retail shops or restaurants. Granted, you got Walmart, but who wants to go to Walmart to buy shirt or pants? Yeah, I don't. When I was a kid growing up, we always went, always went to Michigan City or South Bend or, or uh, Maryville to go out to eat or anything like that. And you still got to do it to this day, it seems like. Nothing nothing stands out in Laporte anymore. And, and if there is, and, and I'm missing it, I apologize. Granted, there's great shops. I guess there's a the silver lining and there are some great shops if you if you look for them, like Zeldin's and Monroe's and, and things like that. You get, but you got to look for them. They just don't stand out like they used to. So my that's my my fourth con my fourth con is, is, is we're, we're missing some great retail, but I, I guess there's retail space coming over by, over by Kroger, but that's why it's, it's a year two three years away at this point. It's, it's also going to be a, a residential area as well with with apartments, like like we need more apartments in the board. So I guess my silver lining if, if there is a silver lining on this, we do have some great shops, but they're small and they're, if if we don't if we don't hit them. We're gonna, we're gonna lose them. My fifth con, no Chick Fil A. I really can't, really, can't, really, really can't come with a good, a good fifth con of living Laporte because Laporte is such a great, great little town that I enjoy it so much. But but it's but the same as every every town that I do do in North, North do in Northwest Indiana. There's no Chick Fil A. The nearest one is Maryville at this point. I, mean, there might, there, I think there's one in South Bend. But I, but I know for a fact there's one in Maryville. There's this not one, not one in Chesterton. There's not one in Valparaiso. But there's because there's supposed to be one. There should be one coming soon. And there's not one in Michigan City. So that's my that's my fifth con. No Chick Fil A in Laporte. We need one. But there's a Starbucks. But I don't drink coffee, so it doesn't care. There's Dunkin' Donuts. I shouldn't eat, but I shouldn't eat donuts. That's my fifth con, guys. Have, have a great day. Today are the five pros and the five cons of living in Laporte. 
The port's a great little town. I, I enjoy it a lot. My parents lived there for th for thirty years. I lived there for, for I graduated I graduated high school from there in eighty seven. Went to went to Purdue. Lived, lived I got married. Lived, lived in Michigan City. Now I'm now I'm in Chesterton. But La Porte is still my hometown. I go back to La Porte often. My, my brother still lives there. My nephew still lives there. La Porte, La Porte is my hometown. I love I love going back there. I know it like the back of my hand. I don't get lost there in Michigan City. I, I just know it so well. So if you guys are looking to buy or sell, give me a call. 219-872-8000. If you like what you saw today, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell button. Get alerts every time I do a new video. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. And I'll see you very, very soon.